Five Nights at Freddy's is over. Mr. Scott Cawthon has recently announced his cancellation with the series. Not a trolling, he says. Wants to move on to better things, he says. So, so that means I'm finished. I'm no longer considered a scootaloo to you, Pinkie Pie. You're no longer gonna dare me to play scary games anymore. That's right. Two years ago, I did challenge you to play the first Five Nights at Freddy's game. You've been trying super duper hard to show me you aren't a scaredy silly. And I've been challenging you with almost every single scary game ever since then. But you aren't done yet. I, I'm not? Oh no, my dear element of kindness. Not yet. You still got one more challenge ahead of you. You see, you played all five installments of the games. You completed the Five Nights at Candy's trilogy series, and you even played the TGOCR series. But you haven't played every fan-made game yet. Oh, oh dear. Your last and final mission, Fonarchy? Choose five more FNAF-related scary games, fan-made or not. Play and upload them all. Then, and only then, you will win this. The I'm officially not a Scootaloo crown, who's made by yours truly. And if I play five more FNAF games, you'll never call me a Scootaloo ever again? Well, Fluttershy, this is it. Can you do it? Yay or nay? Yay. Hello, everypony. I'm Fluttershy, and today we're going to be playing Fun Nights at Wario's. I don't know why this exists. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm not even surprised. What? What? Oh, that is a screenshot of the... There once was a man named Wario who worked along with a friend of his on Wario's own fast food factory. Of course, it's a fast food factory. I mean, why am I surprised? One day, however, the two men went missing, and they were never found. Since that day, the factory has been closed due to people thinking the factory was cursed. With no evidence whatsoever, it's just, it's just part of the plot. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory. Why? And start the production again. One man has gotten the job as guard during the night. Why would the government want to, want to, maybe the government likes the fast food over there, I don't know. I'm not even that surprised anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Are you seeing what this looks like right now? Am I gonna, hear Mario. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Are you there? Oh, I'm great. Sure. Well, um, welcome to Wario's, your new summer job. So this place recently got reopened, yes. and you are in I fact the, the first person to work on this location after its reopening. Okay. So that's quite an honor, don't you think? Not really. Um, before we begin, what you might have heard some rumors or something about something going on here about seven years ago. Um, just don't worry about that, and don't think about it at I all. I mean, there was a reason yeah, why I'm it, I'm sure it, it, it closed down, right? Sure it's just rumors of some kind. So it's not really a rumor, it's so really you have nothing to down. worry about. Must be going on Anyways, here. your job here is pretty simple. Watch the security cameras around the building to make sure that everything works correctly. This place is pretty old now, and we haven't really got much time yet to fix everything around the building. I mean, so the rooms are I'll say, look how dirty this place looks. And maybe rotten. She go get some snow white to clean it or something. Correctly. So what? that's why we need you to keep an eye on things to make sure that everything looks all right. Okay. Also, if it should be necessary, you can also put on the lights okay. in the door to your left and also in the window to your right. Okay. You can also close off this door and this window. But okay. please only shut those doors and turn off those lights if absolutely necessary. Do I have an you Apple only have a limited computer? supply of power for now, so we don't really want to waste much money. So, um, yeah, good luck. Just keep an eye on things. Check your cameras pretty fast, I guess, to make sure that you don't use too much power. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, you I played all the fun as a friend. We know what this about. is based off of. We know what happened. You're sitting playing. here until 6am and someone will come and take your spot. So, yes. again, good luck and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, wait, did he even introduce his name? Look at this picture of me. <gasps> um... Are you guys lost? Look at this picture right here! He, the, the guy who made this game just took a picture of his house! Hello? Um... It's not 4th of July! Could you at least maybe photoshop them to make them look a lot more scared? Guys, I I, I don't know what to say about these things. It, it, it's... it's... Who's making those firecracker sounds? Who's going through the garbage? Oh, this is the freezing room. This looks like the basement. It's so disgusting. The control room. That's the corridor. Even though it looks kind of like a church or something. That's the entrance, even though we know that that's the guy who made this, this game. That's his front house. What is that sound? I'm 
not that scared. I'm just kind of intrigued right now. What? Who said what? Was that Mr. Waluigi? 2 a.m. everybody. They're all gone now. I don't know what's happening, everypony. I know this must be related to a creepy pasta. I think Mr. Treasure Five Nights at Treasure Island was based off of a creepy pasta, but what is this based off of? And why? I think I would be a lot more scared if this was Mr. Mario and Mr. Luigi, because I actually care about those characters. What is that? Maybe I shouldn't listen to that for so long. Maybe I, I might get killed or something, but who who? Maybe it's Yoshi. Why is Mr. Wario so huge? Can something just happen? Can noises happen? Can some pony tell me they want they want to see my head their head come off or something? Not that firecracker sound! A sign that, that that you guys are alive and I'm just not looking at nothing and just hearing Yoshi give birth? Huh? What are you doing in the machinery? Okay. 5 a.m. So six years um, ago, um, uh, one year after the factory got closed down, uh -huh. a woman passing by the abandoned factory, mm -hmm. she claimed to see Wario in the window, and okay. the same thing happened to a man last year. So we don't really know what they meant by that. I swear he's just making it up right there and then. I, I don't get the plot. I would rather find out the Yoshis. That sound in the bathroom that sound like Mr. Mr. Yoshi taking a, a dump or something. What in the hay? Mr. Luigi is here? That was interesting. Okay, okay, new plot development. Okay, every pony. So we got Mr. Luigi here. I don't know where... Okay, Mr. Wario's right there in the machinery. He's really tall. Can some pony be... <gasps> what? Really? How do I know if he's still there? Oh, okay. Sorry, Mr. Luigi. He's just looking for spaghetti. Mr. Luigi, you still want spaghetti? Oh, oh, he's right there. What is long nose? That's not scary. What is long nose? It looks like Squidward. Okay, just keep going, Fluttershy. Hi there, Mr. Luigi. Please stay over there, please. Um, I know you're bored too. Um, okay, so now we know Mr. Luigi. Mr. Luigi, you still there? Okay, he's still there. Close the door. What's the point anymore, but every pony. Okay, he's still there. He is still there. Come, please, Luigi. Please, I want to meet Mr. Wario, Mr. Waluigi, or something. I mean, no offense. Oh, turn it off, please. No offense, Mr. Luigi. I really like you. Um... Okay. Super Smash Brothers. You should know where everything is. Why are you staying in the bathroom? He's there. He's... How many Warriors are there? You want to stay over there? Turn that off. Where's Mr. Mario? I'm so curious. I actually kind of want to get jump scared in, in some way. <sighs> He's still... He, he just wants attention. It's okay, Miss Luigi. I, I understand. I understand completely. I know this is not Five Nights at Luigi's, I know. But you had Luigi's Mansion, and, and that was really spooky. Oh, wow, hi there. How many Warriors are there? I think this would be a lot more scarier if these were all of those like haunted amiibos. And I'll see a whole bunch of amiibos, and, and the most rarest amiibo. Oh, <gasps> he's right there. Please come over here and say hi. I don't want to keep seeing Mr. Luigi. He, he doesn't look okay. Okay, five, I... Guys, I, I just don't know about this game. They really like the food there. Night, Mario and Luigi, oh, they nice. went into the factory to look for them. But right, the thing is, they answer. never came out either. <gasps> oh, why did the government open this place? Mario's uh, girlfriend or some sort. Wait, what? Uh, Peach or something. I don't know if that's the correct name. Princess Peach is a very, very easy name to remember. Either. And after Peach disappeared, mm -hmm. someone came up with a rumor of the factory being cursed or something, yeah. and they decided to close it off. Um, we have Is there no police really around here? They're just gonna send really plumbers happened. and Princess Peach? Well, Actually, a princess? Is, well, how many things know, do you know? You are in charge of this! You are the government! This is all- They said the government opened this place up. My question is, is this part of the Mushroom Kingdom? Is this all taking place in the Mario world, or is this the human world? I'm a pony playing a, a human game based off of, of the Mushroom Kingdom. What is this? This is not Super Mario Odyssey or anything. I don't know. <gasps> oh. Uh, maybe that's Princess Peach. I can't believe that guy said he didn't know what Princess Peach's name is. It's just, she's such a very easy... It's not like it's Princess Plum or something, but I'm still... I'm still confused over this plot. I don't know if this is the human world or the Mushroom Kingdom world. Who's in charge of the government? Why do they send Princess Peach on her own to go in here in the first place? And what's so great about this food place? This this, 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 this food place run by Mr. Wario? What's so great about the food here that, that made them want to open it up again? Do they serve good spaghetti? I'm sorry, I know I'm talking so much. I know it's just a game, but 
th there's a lot of things to take in right now. And there's nothing here that looks like it's part of the Mushroom Kingdom. I didn't even hear a single Mario sound. You're missing a tooth, mister. Oh, you're missing another tooth. You should go to the dentist for that. I don't mean to poop all over his game. I, I know. But it's just... I just don't understand. Um... I'm hearing dancy footsteps that sound like high heels. Unless w while Luigi's wearing high heels, that might be Miss Princess Plum. <gasps> ah! Okay, with your Smash Brothers model. That actually a little bit spooked me. I had a bit of the spooks, not the spooky spooks, but just kind of like the spook, just like a really quick spook. I'm more. I am actually terrified of you. Okay, we're just gonna keep this going. No, no cutouts over here. We're just gonna keep talking, make this awkward. Okay, every pony, you can see all my suffering, all my confusion here. Call up, tell me another story, tell me, oh, well, this might be a rumor, I don't know if this is true, but Yoshi's out there with his entire family, and they're gonna kill you, and it might be not true, it might be true, but, uh, the government. Intruder is trying to get the secret recipe. The if secret recipe? Know, what is this going to be? Anyways, good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyways, good luck, and I'll huh? talk to you tomorrow again. Was that another take? Did the voice actor just do another take on that? I don't know what else there is to say. There's nothing here that reminds me of Mario. Uh, I have a virus now. Guys, I have a virus on my screen. Hi there, Mr. Mario. You're finally here and you're a virus on my screen. And it took till night four for you to get here? I don't know, I, I, I can't tell anymore. He might jump scare me, he might not. Oh, hi there. I, I don't know what's happening either. Hi there, Mrs. Peach. Please, can you fix this, some pony? Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what is he holding? Is that supposed to be my head? Is that a, a whoopee cushion? Just go away, please! Oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. That's it. Hello there, Mr. Mario. Jump scare me? No! <laughs> what in the hay? I think Nintendo must be the one in charge of this thing. <gasps> no! No! I am not gonna get jump scared over that thing. Not that thing. Mari thing. I don't Mario thing. Just keep thinking, pretend that you got the care. I think maybe Nintendo is the government. What in the hay? I was just staring at that. He's, he's calling all of his... Are you serious? No. No, please. Please. I don't want to get jumped. <laughs> anyway, everypony, thank you guys all so much for watching this. Comment below your thoughts. What else scary uh, Five Nights at Freddy's parody fan-made game I could play? Let me know. I have a few more to go. Let's just see what else happens. Thank you all so much. Hello.